Hey there everybody, my name is Adam Matza, and uh, this is going to be a comparison video inspired by Derek Jones who posted a similar video last night. This one is going to compare an iPad Air 2 that has, of course, um, iOS 8.1. It also has the most recently updated version of AudioBus, and it's set at 256 latency. The other iPad is an iPad Air. It has um, uh, iOS 7.1.2 and it has the AudioBus version 2.1.4, which is the version before iOS 8 dropped into our lives. It is also set at 256 latency. In the output in both, we have peak Q. In the effects, we have dub and space. In the um, input, we have alchemy and animo. Really basic setup for me, I'm sure for a lot of you the same. Um, I usually use a lot more than this actually, but for the purposes of this comparison, this will, I think, show um, uh, it'll be it'll be quite instructional and, and, and informational, I think. Okay, so here we go. All right, this first iPad is the iPad Air that has iOS 7.1.2 and the older version of AudioBus. And we will start in Alchemy. And we'll just roll right into this. We'll get the, the volume up for the preset. It's the both presets, that I'm, I'm going to be using the same preset for both droplets. It's from the water grouping of presets uh, in Alchemy. So here we go. No problem, works just fine. All right, now this iPad is the iPad Air 2. It has, of course, iOS 8.1. And this is Alchemy, the same setup, everything the same. Um, and in both cases, Alchemy is set to 256 latency. Here we go. That would be fine if the preset was called Geiger Counter, but of course it's not. Um, so as you can see, um, same setup, really minimal in terms of what we're putting in here. Um, the iPad Air 2 with 8.1 on it is pretty much useless. Um, okay, so that's that's pretty that's pretty obvious. All right, so now we're going to go into, um, in both cases here, we're going to go into Animog. An really interesting situation um, in Animog. Um, we're going to have this, and this is the LFO situation that Derek has been talking about and I've been talking about, but Eric, uh, but um, Derek noticed it first. Um, so here you go. Pretty basic. Here is uh, the iPad Air with 7.1.2 and the older version of AudioBus. And it's set at 256 latency. That's exactly how it's supposed to sound. And here it is on the iPad Air 2, same setup. Sounds just fine. All right, now let's go into AudioBus on the iPad Air 2 with 8.1, and let's change the settings to 512. Let's see what happens then. Half as fast. Interesting, eh? Here it is on the iPad Air with 7.1.2 and the older version of AudioBus. We're going to go to 512 into the same preset, and here we go. Exactly as it's supposed to. Now, let's go into AudioBus settings and change it to latency of 1024. Let's see what happens then. I'm sure you can guess. It 
it's even slower, half the speed of 512. And just to show you that it works uh, in 7.1.2 with the older version of AudioBus, let's just go ahead and show you. So there you go. That is something that uh, both Derek and I have been talking about, but so far hasn't been addressed. There's an LFO problem for whatever reason um, in Animoog um, on AudioBus, the latest versions of AudioBus with the latest iOS. Not sure why that's happening, but there it is. That's uh, just to show um, the problem that we've been discussing. All right, well, I think uh, it pretty much speaks for itself, and um, thanks for watching. I hope this helps, or it was interesting at least, and um, I hope it's instructional to uh, the folks at AudioBus. Um, and any of the app makers, uh, any of the guys um, at Moog um, who might be monitoring this, um, there's the problem that I, I've mentioned a couple of times um, that hasn't been addressed quite yet. And um, that's it. I love the group. Um, I enjoy the interaction. I learn a lot from iPad Musician. Linda does a great job uh, with the group. And thank you guys. I've made some really interesting acquaintances uh, and friendships as a result of this. So thank you and have a nice weekend and make great music.